Let me talk to you about something very important I was thinking about earlier today, my dear brothers and sisters. I was thinking, why is the shaitan working so hard to get us further away from our parents? Because, very simply put, because he understands that this is the greatest relationship that we can have after the relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And for that, the, the shaitan works on various entrances. I came up with five main entrances based from our real life experiences, based on brothers and sisters who've sent me messages in the past few months, based on my own personal experiences and, uh, and uh, experiences that are read in, in books of the Salaf and in current times also. Uh, they're really called entrances of the shaitan, but in reality, I think they're called lies of the shaitan, fabrications of the shaitan, things that the shaitan tries to put in our mind and inside of our hearts to tell us that there's a problem between us and our parents. When in reality, maybe it's just a small misunderstanding. Let's take a look at, at these examples, okay? The first big excuse or the first big entrance or the first big lie or the first big fabrication or the first big myth, whatever you want to call it, is my parents don't love me. My parents don't love me. What do you mean your parents don't love you? Are you kidding yourself or are you being serious? No, really, my parents don't love me. Look at everything they do. They keep on yelling at me all the time. They ground me all the time. They keep on telling me that I'm really bad at school and I'm going to be a failure and all of these things. But let me tell you this. I'm not going to tell you the, the thing that everyone says, which is they, they're doing that. They're saying these things because they love you. I'm going to tell you there's a small misunderstanding here. And that misunderstanding is that maybe they're not able to communicate their love to you in the best way and in the best form possible. So there is a blame on them, but there's also a blame on you. Believe me, my dear brothers and sisters, I don't know of any parent who is alive, especially if they're Muslim, who doesn't love their, their child. And believe me, my dear brothers and sisters, especially my young brothers and sisters, you will not, and I'm sure you heard this from your parents many times, but it is true, it is true. You will not realize the true responsibility and the true love of a parent until you experience it for yourself. No matter how much I tell you, no matter how much your parents tell you, no matter how much you read in books, no matter how many YouTube videos you watch about the subject, this is something that you will never fully realize. Maybe you'll get a few tips here and there, but something that you will never fully realize until you experience it for yourself. So please, know that this is from the shaitan. What do you mean my parents don't love me? All of our parents love us. Maybe each of them has his or her special way of love. Maybe it's not really the best technique all the time. But don't ever doubt that your mom loves you, that your dad loves you. Because that is one of the entrances and the main entrance of the shaitan to try to break you apart from your parents. Now the second thing is something very important, which is no matter how much good that I do, my parents are never going to be happy with me. No matter how much good that I do, my parents are not going to be happy with me. If I get a B at school, they're going to always ask for an A. If I get an A, they're going to say, why didn't you get an A plus? If I get a 99%, they're going to say, why did your friend get 100% and you didn't get 100% and you only got 99%? We all experience these similar things. If, we take, if I take out the garbage one day, they're going to tell me, why didn't you clean your room? A fact of life is our parents always want us to become better, better people. And they want us to see, they want to see us perfect. Okay, obviously their perfection is, is uh, motivated by their love again for us, but it may not be always true. So again, another miscommunication, another entrance of the shaitan. Don't take the words of your parents too literally. Okay, if they say you're a failure, you don't know what you're doing, you're never going to be successful. You know what, just, just take it in and keep it as part of your patience. Because believe me, any great thing that will get you to Jannah is going to require patience. And believe me, it's not going to be easy. And the same thing goes for brothers and sisters. I was talking to the younger brothers and sisters. Now I'm talking to older brothers and sisters. When your mom you know, calls you from overseas and says, you're a very bad daughter, you're a very bad child, I raised you all these years, and, and you're not being good to me. And even maybe you're calling them on, uh, on a daily basis or on a weekly basis. You haven't visited me in such and such time. And maybe your mom doesn't understand that you're a mother of three children right now. And these children are in school. And you're not able to leave the country that you're in to go visit her. Be patient. Be patient and don't let the shaitan get in the relationship and then, you know what the shaitan does? Oh, you know, uh, my parents are now never going to be happy with anything that I do, no matter how much, how much I do, so I'm not going to do anything. And I'm going to mess up my relationship with my parents. That's, wh that's what the shaitan does. 
So the first one, as we said, my parents don't love me, a big lie from the shaitan. The second thing is no matter how much good that I do, my parents will never be happy. Okay, that's another lie from the shaitan. Let's look at the third thing. The third thing, my dear brothers and sisters, is the things that I do, that I may be able to do to my parents, are so small that they're not going to matter to them anyway. What do I mean by that? I mean, th does my dad really care that I pick up the phone and I call him, you know, uh, on a daily basis? I mean, is that really going to make a difference to him? Not really. Is my mom going to really care if I send her a picture of my kids on, uh, on Facebook? She's not. Who cares? Is my mom going to really be happy or really care? Such a small thing, you know, if I take the garbage out today or if I make her breakfast while she's in bed or something like that, or if I clean my own room. She, she's not going to be, it's not going to make a big difference. Well, you know what? It is. Because the small things that you do are so big in the eyes of your parents. No matter how young you are again, or no matter how old you are. The, the things that you do, the, the things that you think are so small, they're so big in the eyes of your parents. Of course, the good things. And the shaitan is the one that makes them small in your eyes so that you don't do them, so that you don't establish a firm and a beautiful relationship with your parents and the shaitan is doing that because he knows if you're able to get this door open, the door between you and your parents, you are on the straight path to Jannah. SubhanAllah, something so small in your eyes, but in the eyes of that dad, there's something so big. His, dad, his, his son went to his house one day and he made you know, small food for him. Maybe he made breakfast, I don't know what he was making. Maybe he was just making eggs or something like that. And he sat with his dad on the floor and they ate together. Who cares about that? Your parents care. Most, most days today, my dear brothers and sisters, you know, we're taking our, our lunch and we're going to our own room. You're eating by yourself. Your sister is eating by herself. Your dad is eating by yourself because he comes late. Your mother is not even eating at all because she's worried about feeding everyone else. SubhanAllah. We need to bring the family back together. And you as a son and you as a daughter need to take a leading role. And worry and take care of these small things maybe they're small in your eyes the shaitan is making them small in your eyes but they're so huge in your parents eyes you send a text message to your mom and you tell her i love you it can be so great in her heart and could be who knows wallahi my dear brothers and sisters it could be the reason that you enter jannah and i'm responsible for what i'm saying it could be the reason that you enter jannah a simple text message that you send to your mom or to your dad and say i love you mom or I love you, Dad. We have, uh, my dear brothers and sisters, uh, people, uh, you know, other cultures who have Mother's Day or Father's Day. But for us, my dear brothers and sisters, every day is Mother's Day. Every day is Father's Day. Every, even if they're alive or if they're not alive. I have two more points, uh, as I said to you. The first point, the, th the fourth point now, okay? We already talked about the first three points. Let me talk about the fourth point is, my parents are not religious. Another entrance of the shaitan, another excuse of the shaitan. My parents are not religious, so why should I be good to them? And as Sheikh Shadi Sulaiman mentioned a few minutes ago, yes, you should be good to them. Of course, do not follow them when they ask you to do things are, that are against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but when, you know, that doesn't contradict at all with being nice to them or being good to them, whether they're Muslim and they're alive or if, if, they're, not, if they're not Muslim and they're still alive. Or in most of our cases, it's subhanAllah, our parents are alive, they're Muslim, but maybe they're not too religious or maybe they're not too practicing. Leave that up to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and of course advise them all the time. But at the same time, my dear brothers and sisters, that does not contradict with you being righteous to them. Their relationship with Allah is one thing and your relationship with them, which will lead you to your relationship, a good relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is something totally different. So do not fall into this trap of the shaitan. And the last and the fifth point that I came up with, my dear brothers and sisters, is my parents will live forever. Even though technically we know that that's not true, that my parents will never live forever. This is what the shaitan puts in our mind and in our hearts. My parents will live forever. And I want to tell you a small story about that. I just heard it today on one of the programs. A sister, for three months straight, she would sit in her room on the internet talking to a boy in a haram relationship for three months straight, day and night, and her mom would call her, come eat with me, come talk to me just, just a bit. No answer. Oh, I'm busy, I'm, I'm doing homework, I'm doing this and that, and she's chatting with this guy. 
And three months later, my dear brothers and sisters, this mother passed away. And this daughter regretted it for the rest of her life.